right, we found my spot for the day. So here's the edge. <laughs> I'll be sitting about right here with this view. This all looks like it was like molded out of clay or something. During this trip, I've been doing five by seven paintings, but I actually wanted to bring my 11 by 14. I have it taped down and I think I'm gonna do a much bigger painting because I wanna get all of these details. <laughs> this is unreal. This is so stunning. I'm gonna set up and hopefully capture a lot of these shadows before they go and get washed out by midday. difficult painting to get everything in the frame. Here is what I have. You can see I'm kind of going in with a little bit of a purple wash in the background. I have all the basic shapes. The river is going to be right down here. Not the main focus. I wanted the full landscape to be the main focus. About right there is the frame. I am about an hour into this painting. It is one of the most difficult paintings I've ever done and the most difficult plain air painting I've ever done. There are so many shadows that are constantly moving. I'm really struggling, but I love it. I love this challenge. I'm here for it. That's, that's part of growing as an artist is you gotta do these really difficult things sometimes to grow. So here we are. painting even though this morning this was all dark I decided to add a little bit of the shadows that are coming out right now for details there's actually a river right here uh, the whole painting is kind of like squished a little bit like this middle part if you look at a picture there's a little bit more happening but I had to kind of do an artist's interpretation of this and make this part up a little bit just so I could get everything in frame
my shadows are in so I'm going to glaze over the shadows with like a very dark red into dark blue just to make those shadow colors pop and then when I'm done with that I will glaze over these lighter areas with really bright oranges reds greens are coming out right now there are very vivid colors right now that my camera is not picking up but that's the next step is to pop all of those colors and I actually finished the painting here is around sunset time let me show you the painting here it is about 10 hours of work and I'm going to leave it here's some imperfections but that's kind of the point all right I'm just having a little snack and I'm gonna see what sunset looks like be it for Dead Horse Point State Park. It's a one day event and I'm really happy with how it all turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I will be going to Canyonlands tomorrow and then Arches after so if you're interested in following that adventure go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.